Hi there. Have you ever felt that uncomfortable, sticky sensation from sweating too much on a cloudy day? Or struggled with laundry that won't dry during rainy weather? Perhaps you've experienced dry lips in cold and wintry weather. You are absolutely right if you've been blaming all this on humidity. But humidity isn't all bad. In fact, it plays a key role in creating some beautiful natural scenes. Think about those tiny droplets that form on the outside of a chilled drink, the mist that hovers over a lake on a crisp winter morning, or the refreshing rain during the rainy season. These are just a few of the fascinating weather phenomena that scientists, especially meteorologists, are interested in studying humidity. In fact, if you search for a weather update online, like I did here for Mumbai, India, you'll see exactly what I mean. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that apart from temperature and other details, a humidity percentage listed. But what exactly does this number mean? Don't worry, I'll break it down for you later in this video. So, what is humidity? To understand that let's take a parcel of air and zoom into it. Apart from the minor percentage of gas and dust particles, the air mainly consists of water vapor, nitrogen, and oxygen. So, humidity can be defined as, the amount of water vapor present in the air. But the term amount is not well defined. Therefore, scientists use more refined definitions of humidity. Such as absolute humidity, specific humidity, mixing ratio, relative humidity, etc. This tutorial is all about defining and solving examples related to these definitions. So, without delay, let's discuss the first one. Absolute humidity is defined as the mass of water vapor per unit air volume and is denoted by AH. The definition is mathematically represented here, where mv is the mass of water vapor in grams and va is the volume of air in cubic meters. Let's take an example to better understand it. It says if 40 grams of water vapor is present in 2 meter cube of air, then the absolute humidity should be the mass of water vapor that is 40 grams divided by the volume of air that is 2 meter cube which is 20 gram per meter cube. Therefore, the absolute humidity of this imaginary air is 20 grams per meter cube. Now, it is well known that the volume of the air parcel increases with increase in altitude, so, the absolute humidity will also change with it. This is why we need another definition where, instead of volume of air, the mass of air is used. This brings us to the definition of specific humidity. And is defined as the mass of water vapor present in per unit mass of all air. It is denoted as Q. Now, by the term, all air. I mean the air plus water vapor whereas the air minus water vapor is termed as the dry air. Let's understand specific humidity by the help of an example, that is if 30 grams of water vapor is present in 1 kilogram of air then the specific humidity is 30 grams per kg. It is also possible to write it mathematically as the ratio of mv by m all where mv is the mass of water vapor and m all is the mass of all air. It is more convenient to write this equation in the form of density and can also be written as rho v by rho all. The red box summarizes the equation. Let's understand specific humidity with the help of another example. Here, rho v is 10 grams per meter cube, and rho all is 1.11 grams per meter cube. The ratio gives specific humidity, Q, which is 9.01 grams per kg. Now, if we use mass of all air in the denominator here, then the humidity is called specific humidity, and if we use mass of dry air in denominator, then it is called the mixing ratio. This brings us to the definition of mixing ratio, W. It is also called the water vapor mixing ratio. It is defined as the mass of water vapor mixed in per unit mass of dry air. And is mathematically written as W equals to mv by ma equals to rho v by rho a. Let's understand this with an example. It is given that the density of water vapor is 10 grams per meter cube and the density of the dry air is 1.1 kilogram per meter cube. Plugging these numbers into the above equation gives the mixing ratio, W to be 9.09 grams per kg. Now, please notice one thing, 
If you compare this number with the specific humidity example we solved earlier, you will find that they are approximately the same. This is because the mass of water vapor in air is always much smaller than the mass of air. So the all air and the dry air have approximately the same mass. Due to this reason, specific humidity and mixing ratio are equivalent within a few percent. All the definitions of humidity we discussed till now are fine and primitive and they are not used as frequently as relative humidity. So let's discuss this. Relative humidity is defined as the ratio of the mixing ratio to the saturation mixing ratio at a specific temperature or pressure. We'll dive deeper into what the saturation mixing ratio means in a later tutorial, but for now, let's stick to the basics. Relative humidity is always expressed as a percentage. Now, let's work through an example to make this concept clearer. Suppose, we have a mixing ratio of 21 grams per kilogram and a relative humidity of 84%. Our goal is to find the saturation mixing ratio. By plugging these values into the equation written above, we can calculate the saturation mixing ratio, which comes out to be 25 grams per kilogram. Do you remember the weather update screenshot we looked at earlier in this tutorial? The humidity shown here is 73%, and based on the four definitions of humidity we covered, we know this refers to relative humidity. We will discuss more about this in an upcoming tutorial. Now that we've covered this, let's go ahead and summarize today's tutorial. This table summarizes everything we've covered. The first column lists the different ways humidity can be defined. The second column shows the mathematical formulas for each of those definitions and finally, the third column indicates the units in which these quantities are measured. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.